Okay, well, welcome everybody to the VSA demo. We've got some <clears throat> crazy things going on with the screen, but I think I've got it all figured out and everything is good to go. So we are covering personalized versus fillable content today and really what are the differences and some best practices around that. As we get started, I want to let everybody know that as you have questions, please use the chat window to ask them. I'll answer them as I can throughout the demonstration. If I cannot answer them at that time, I will surely get back with you um, and answer your specific question as well. Let me know if you can hear me um, or if anything's going on with my screen. We are gonna be using some split screens today. So it may get a little small on your end. I'll be watching that and expecting any feedback that you guys have in that chat window as we move forward. The first thing as we get started that we wanna talk about is if you are not a user of the VSA today and you want to be, or you wanna take advantage of a free trial, you can definitely go to Financial Services Online, our website at fsonline.com. I'll put that in the chat window too. Where you can go on that is just hit sign up and that will take you to the sign up page. You will see different options on how you want to be billed. Um, and then you just really choose your billing option and you can go from there. There is a seven day free trial. We'd love you to be able to take advantage of that. The other thing that we'd like to talk about is a new program that we have that we've just launched, and that is the VSA Affiliate Program. And so this program uh, is really for those who are very active in referring people to the VSA, and you get rewarded to do that. So if that is something you're interested in, I'm going to go ahead and paste that link as well into the chat box. You'll fill out this information. I'll give you a call and we can talk and see if that's a good fit for you. It is something that's part-time. It's something that's extra and a little bit of mailbox money for you. The next thing we'd like to talk about is as we move forward, we are doing these weekly webinars. So each week they're going to change for the next three weeks. And that registration page is here. Um, you can see that next week we'll be going over client newsletters again and then towards the end of November, it's getting closer to getting ready to plan for 2020 tax year. So uh, we'll start talking about the tax tools and as soon as we can, we'll get those new tax digests out for 2020. So I will also share that link in the chat box for you guys. As we go through, if you continue to have questions and you want a more comprehensive back-to-back -back, um, one -on one-on-one with me, then I'm going to share with you my Calendly link. This allows you to really throw anything on my calendar that you want. And so this link is here and be sure to do that if you've got any questions moving forward. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna start a little bit ahead of the login in this particular demo. And the reason being is we've had a lot of people asking where you go to log in. Um, and so, if you ever lose that login page or you can't get to it, you can go to our homepage at FS Online. Right here in the top right hand corner, you're going to see VSA login. That will take you to the login screen. If you are used to being a part of a company or anything, it will not take you to your company branded screen, but that will at least get you in. If you're already logged into it, it's going to take you straight into the main menu like mine just did. If you have not logged into it in a while, it will take you to a login page. All right. So as you see, this is the main menu. Across the top, you've got your header. And over to the right, you've got some really just administrative tabs. Our news tab is what we are doing at Financial Services Online. Any new content we've added, uh, you can see back in September, we added some new tax diversification content in there. You'll see all our e-news editions in there. Any updates that we're doing to the content, you'll see as well. The help tab is just that. If you need help or you want that guided tour, you can do that and it's all right there for you. And then your settings tab is where you're going to really customize your pieces and change any name information, broker dealer information, anything like that. So if you need some help with your settings, 
let me know, throw something on my calendar and we can get that taken care of. On the left hand side, you are gonna see this menu that a navigation menu is really what it is. And it's gonna stay there regardless of what page you're on within the VSA. And so the first thing I like to point out is we have the quick links and the quick links are really your easy buttons. They're going to keep track of your most used 10 links and your most recently used 10 links. So these things are gonna change the more and more you use the VSA, but definitely keep on top of that. If you find something and you can't find it again, check out your quick links because it's likely in there. You can always navigate through client tools and resources on this left navigation screen as well as the needs if you ever get off this main menu. So that main menu stays on that left side all the time. Okay, so let's go into personalized versus fillable content. The VSA offers two different types of content for some of our pieces and some of our categories. Personalized is great when you are using the piece of paper or the document in front of your client, across the desk, you're face to face, and you're gonna be writing stuff out, they're gonna be writing stuff out as well. This is where you can put in your name information, you can put in your business card information, and we'll see that here in a second. The fillable content is really a you are wanting to send anything to your client prior to any meetings and you're not sending it by regular mail, then that is the best piece for you if you're going to be doing it all electronically. It allows anybody who has a computer but doesn't have access to a printer or scanner to still fill those out and get those sent back to you in time before the meeting. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open up two tabs. So let me know if it's way too much for you guys to follow along, but I'm gonna open up two tabs under priority approaches. And so let me go ahead and do that now. This first one, I'm gonna take this into our menu. And you can see here that I've got personalized selected as my report type. If we go to this other tab here and I click fillable, you can see that there, it takes away all those personalized options. Okay, so this is the fillable screen, and that would be the personalized screen. I'm going to put my name as Meredith Prospect so that we can see where that shows up. And I'm going to choose under the personalized piece, I'm going to choose the Retirement Priority Planning Review with PNC Insurance. And I'm going to go down and hit Submit. Now, while that's generating, I am going to go over to my other tab. And I'm going to choose the exact same form here, but it's again, it's fillable. So I'm going to choose the form here. I'm going to go down and hit submit. And you're going to see that both of these are going to take us to our view save email page. I like to view everything first. And so if you are in your browser and you hit view, most browsers are doing really well with their own PDF reader. Sometimes their PDF reader can cause some real quirky things to happen with our PDF. So if anything quirky is going on, then make sure you kind of hover across the top, hit this download button, and you can open it in your own Adobe reader as well. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this tab out here, and I'm going to move it to half the screen. I'm going to choose our other tab. We're going to hit view again. And you're going to see right here, this is our cover page, and I hope it's not too small, so let me know if it is. But this is our cover page, side by side. On your left-hand side, you've got personalized, and on the right-hand side, you've got fillable. You can see the personalized, you've got the name of who you're meeting with right there across the top. On the fillable piece, you do not. You can see it's blank. The same thing is going to happen with your business card information, all right? On your personalized pieces, it's going to automatically load to those cover pages. On the fillable pieces, it is not going to load. All right, but here's where you're going to see the difference. Let's go down to page two under personal information. This just looks like a normal printed 
piece of paper, right? You're going to print it out. You're going to fill it out. They can bring it in. You can fill it out with them. That's how I like to use the, the personalized pieces is fill it out with your clients in office. On the fillable pieces, everything's kind of highlighted in blue, all right? And sometimes that shade can be different, again, depending on the PDF reader you're using. But everything highlighted in blue, you can place your cursor there and start filling out. Okay, and so that will be able to be filled out. You can save that, download it, and save it. And then they can send it back to you without ever having to print it out and scan it back in. Okay, so those are the two biggest differences between the fillable and the personalized pieces. All right, and you can see it's really just the same all the way down. They can check certain things here, you know, and you can see that you can't check it on your personalized piece on your left. You can fill out some things over here. Um, it's not going to calculate for you because this isn't really a calculator. It's really more just an information page. But everything's going to be filled out, able to fill out electronically, or able to be filled out by hand. And that's really the two questions you want to ask yourself. How is my client going to fill it out? And how do I want to get this information to my client? Those are going to be the most important pieces. So where you're going to find personalized and fillable content are really, I'm going to go back to the main menu here. It's really going to be primarily in priority approaches. In your reviews, you're going to see that option as well. Okay, and whenever you see the option, it's going to be here across the top. And of course, it'll take away any personalized options you need. All right. There are some other pieces that you can do that with, uh, but those two are primarily the two that really make a difference in personalized versus fillable. Same thing with fact finders too, personalized versus fillable. So not everything comes in both formats, but those three categories do. The other thing I want to show you that really doesn't have anything to do with the personalized versus fillable content, but it does have everything to do with that cover page and what's preloaded. And so your concept pages, we're going to look at one of these real quickly. You can see that concept pages are only available in one format. There's nothing really to customize because the concept page is just educational in nature. We're going to use a life insurance personal planning piece. You can put your prospect's name up there if you want to, but you don't have to, and you can choose the date. Now, this is going to show up on your cover page, all right? The other thing that's going to show up on the cover page is your information, business card information, is automatically going to be loaded on that. And so let me show you this, and that way you can kind of compare the two. Our cover pages do differ a little bit between each category of content. Some of the cover pages are going to include your picture, like the concept pages. The priority approaches, annual reviews, and fact finders do not. And so there are two different places where you can have a personalized picture. Let me know. Let's schedule some time if you need to know where the differences are. One is for your content. That's going to be found under settings in that main menu. The other one is for your website. And that is going to be found elsewhere um, in the website edit window. So you can see this particular piece is automatically going to load all of your business card information. So if you don't have the option of personalized versus syllable, your business card information is going to automatically be on that cover page. If you do have the option and you choose syllable, that spot there will be blank. All right? So that is really the gist of today and the differences between personalized and fillable. I know it seems really short. It seems really easy, but a lot of times we can get stuck in the weeds and just kind of forget which one is which. So when I'm looking at what I want to do in summary, I'm always asking, how do I want to get it to my client? Am I going to be filling it out with them or are they going to be filling it out before they come in? The other thing is what are the capabilities of my client, right? Not everybody has a computer at home. Not everybody has a printer, scanner, even though it kind of seems like it's normal day-to-day -day business 
these days, but there's a lot of generations that just still don't have that. Um, and if that's the case, personalized content is going to be the best bet for you and sending it through US mail. All right, so we did have a question come in and the question was, are we going to be recording and sending out this webinar? So we do record our webinars right now and we are working on making those available for later viewing. At this point, we don't necessarily have the capability, but as soon as that comes up, we will inform everybody that our recorded webinars are out there uh, to be viewed and to be viewed over and over. The other thing that we will do is a lot of times you may see um, multiple different videos under the same topic. Those are really there for you. There's different questions that are asked throughout the demos and there's slightly different things depending on the time of year on what we may share and what we may show. So we like to put all of that out there and we're working on that becoming available for you guys. So as soon as that is available, we will let y'all know and that will likely be through email distribution that we make that announcement. Another question that we received was, what are the acceptable formats for logo uploads and picture uploads? So the best formats are going to be really either PNG or JPEG. Uh, the more square it is, the better. Um, and so if you have a rectangular logo that is long in nature from left to right, it's going to squish it up and not make it, it's not going to make it really look all that great. Same thing if it's more of a tall logo, right? And so if there's something that we need to help you resize, we can do that sometimes. Uh, but a square JPEG or PNG photo is best. Okay. And it's really about the invites going to the calendar. And so we can definitely talk about that. Robert, I may give you a call to see a little bit more about what that looks like. But he was wanting, really asking about making sure the invitations and everything go to a calendar link on y'all's email. So we'll work on that and see if we can't make those capabilities happen. All right, so if we don't have any more questions, that's really the wrap up of the VSA today. So I am gonna go ahead and share that link again. If you guys have any more questions or you wanna schedule some more one-on-one -on -one with me, if you need some specific help with your VSA, I'd be happy to do so. And so let me get you that calendar link here you can throw something on my calendar and let me know anything that I can help you with and we'll be glad to do it. Thank you guys so much for joining us today and we look forward to having you next week to go over client newsletters. We'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.